When middle school students like yourselves are asked to draw a picture of a scientist doing something scientific, a common stereotype shows up in far too many of the responses. Typically, a man wearing a white lab coat is seen standing behind a lab table near strange lab equipment. He may look like someone that doesn't really fit in with normal society. He may be older, have crazy hair, or even be mentally unbalanced. His purposes may even seem dark and sinister. But does this image really reflect what most scientists are like? Occasionally, real scientists might work at a table with strange lab equipment. They might even wear a white coat. And occasionally, the work of scientists is developed into new technologies that can be harmful instead of helpful. But most scientists are motivated by a desire to know and to understand more about their world. They will go to great lengths to satisfy that curiosity. This scientist is taking a ride on the so-called Vomit Comet. Scientists may have to face and overcome their fear in order to advance our knowledge of the world. They are highly trained and well prepared to minimize any risk. Forensic scientists use their skills and knowledge to help the police decipher clues and solve crimes. Since scientists study nature, you are more likely to find them working in nature rather than in a lab. Nature is their laboratory. That might mean working on the ocean floor. Or on the ice above a long buried lake in Antarctica. Or digging in the dirt uncovering remnants of a dinosaur that walked here 100 million years ago. This scientist is launching a weather balloon from the deck of a research ship. Sometimes the only way to describe a scientist's work is out of this world. Scientists are male and female, young and old, all races, all nationalities, and all religions. They work all over the world, from tropical rainforests to the frozen desert of Antarctica. They may work as close as a local pond or travel to the treetops of a distant land. A few travel even farther. So what does a scientist look like? I have no idea, but they look like they're having fun. So if this is your idea of a scientist, it's time to get real.